Hey guys, my name's Faith and welcome back to another episode of Banished. At the end of last episode we had our first nomads in town and it seems like they all found a house already which is amazing, I love it. So we finally get some, got some people working here, look at this. People doing the work, this is awesome. Uh, but we also, with 12 new people in town, we also have to worry about um, food now, so I'm I, I am gonna enable this here. Let's take away from the miners. Put one more in here, and we are gonna plant, I guess, potatoes. Since this is kind of the potato row here. Wow, people are dying all of a sudden. Just if we got so many new ones. Okay, uh, we can live with that. We just got a huge boost from these nomads, so we should be fine. And they should live a happy life. Oh yeah, and we also totally make the mistake of this marking place here. Marketplace that we totally had to destroy again. And this still hasn't been removed. It is a structure, right? Is it not? Oh, remove roads is another one. Okay. Let's do this then. Remove the road, everyone. We need space here. All right, Gustus has become an adult. So more stone cutters again. Yeah, we are doing great now with the nomads. That was exactly what we needed. We have the the means to um, to support those guys. And even if not, we can still have some fields that we can just start up. But so far, our produced. Uh, we'll see at the end of the year how much nomads will take up in food. Probably quite a bit. Probably. Oh, crushed by a rock. The forester. What? How does a forester get crushed by a rock? That doesn't make any sense to me. He must be very careless. And now he's dead. Dead like the rock who crushed him. <laughs> oh, that's evil. Okay, so we still have some full houses. So we should consider building more. Let's make this octet here full. And place the dirt roads like that. And I'll probably connect this here too. Just for symmetry reasons. And the road is gone so we can replace the marketplace. Totally like this for real this time. Alright, this is gonna be our big project for today. Get the marketplace up and running. So we can support all these families here. With nice goodies. Oh. Wait. Let me take away two of those. Wait, why is everyone dying right now? That's not fair. Well, I guess we have a trading post. Anything? Wheat, cabbage, mutton, bean, pecan. Mutton sounds nice. Wheat too. Let's get some wheat. I would love to get some wheat seeds actually. I don't I don't want to trade uh, the mutton right now because this will take three times the amount of food that I have and I'm still not sure if I will need the, the food for the... Oh man. People are dying all of a sudden again. That's not good. No laborer, stone cutter. I guess that's alright. Usually I take him away from stone cutting anyways uh, when I need some more people. How's this house coming along? Oh! 22 female builder. Yeah, that's another thing I noticed actually. Um, Banish doesn't discriminate at all between um, women and men. Although in the times where this was probably realistic, there was a huge difference uh, between male and female in society and the jobs were pretty much only male or female. And it's kind of interesting that Banished kind of didn't make the difference and everyone can do every job. But I think it would be a really hard game mechanic if you have to, if you would have male jobs and female jobs. So it may, I guess it makes it easier. But it might, might make it a little more interesting if you actually distinguish. But I bet there are tons of people out there that would just complain that it does make a difference. Although it would be realistic for the time in which Banish plays. Oh, search for produced good? Well, we have to market places soon. Which one are you talking about? This one? No. We have still plenty of room here. 
The barn, however, is pretty full. Yeah, once the marketplace is built, I think lots of food will be stored there instead. Yeah, the barns are full. So this should be good for food storage as well. We'll be there any second, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, produce, use. We are basically on an equal terms right now. Which means I'm probably going to open up another one. Over here. For next spring. Okay, once this is done, we should have enough builders again. 90%. 91. 92. 93. 94. Okay, I have to take away from the stone cutters, I guess. To fill in for the vendors. At least one vendor, I think, is the minimum that we need. We probably sh I don't know what more vendors do. I guess they are more efficient than distributing the goods. But how important it is to have more than one. Because I also just have one trader and I... I've been doing good, just fine with one. And a farmer died. Uh, I hope when once these children, it's 27 freaking children. Once they get adults, we should be good for a while. Come on, 99, 100%. And we're gonna have a vendor, and we're gonna take away from the stone cutters. And there comes the firewood. Firewood and food is, I think, what uh, the, the marketplace usually stores. So this is hopefully going to help us out with our barn problem that we have. Okay, what are we going to plant here? I think it's a cabbage row. And we're going to take away from here. We're going to get another farmer, take away from the miners. Yeah, food is going to be very important with all these new people in town. And we still want to produce a surplus. That's the goal. Okay, it was just the time so they can plant the seed in early spring. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. He's Oh, they are storing all kinds of goods actually. Interesting. Everything a man could need. That definitely helps out these houses here. Let's check the families and stuff. Homes 40, families 33. That's interesting. So we have way more homes. But the houses are still all filled, I, I guess. I don't know exactly what's... Uh, ex I guess that's not cons uh, considered a family. This is one stone tower in here. Yeah, there are a lot of, lot of houses where there's only one guy living in. Another child was born. Since we built so many more farms, we should probably should also build some more housings down here. For all these new people. Yeah, that is where we got uh, the growth because of the nomads. Teacher has died. Oh man, people are dying. I don't like that. Guess I'm gonna can go back to one builder now. That should do fine. Do we need more medicine? Are oh, we good? Let's see. Where's my herbalist? Herbalist on the limit. We will increase the limit to 500 then. Oh oh oh! I closed it. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, this one? Yep, this one. Okay. Got another worker. Very good. <clears throat> We're still kind of on the limit with students right now. New crop fields are planted. Very nice. Kinda wanna put in a road like that. And another laborer. Awesome. That's what I'd like to see. Um, let's put them in here and here. Our market taking up all the goodies. Why is there no cabbages here? This guy should go and bring some cabbages in here instead of all the other stuff. 3,000 cabbage. Wow. 
Yeah, I might have to build a, a third barn around here too. Huh. But it seems that we can support uh, the, the gnomes without bigger issues, which is what I like to see. So that's good. You are out of out of apples, I guess. Not really. Oh, we have two orchids now fully working. Nice. Very nice indeed. Previous season. Not yet, I guess. But he produces a bunch of apples. Should be enough now for our brewer. Cloth limit. Should I? Oh, we have actually a trader here. Steel tools. That's tempting. That is really tempting. How much? That will definitely make our work more efficient, but at the same time... 300... So if I do like... Uh, 165... Yep. Trade. Dismiss. That's gonna help us out a bit. Make work more efficient with steel tools. Maybe... Yeah, if we, if we get uh, another grow growth in people we can set up a second mine make it a coal mine then we can make steel tools ourselves oh the students are at the limit where would I build a second school though I mean one is here I guess most houses are around here so I probably build it somewhere around here more laborers very nice and one has been replaced uh, let's put one in here Okay, things are going nicely. Wow, 42%. There's the cabbage, finally. Yeah, the marketplace definitely helps with storing some goods here. People are walking over it. Kind of a nice town center, I guess. It's a good place for it, too. I mean, I could... These are not aligned, are they? Uh, not really. I guess I could build a third bridge to connect it and... Make it even more efficient. Why not? I mean, a bridge is not that expensive. Why can I not build a bridge though? Do I have to build it like that? Yeah, I do. I guess that's alright. Having all the bridges. So this is where our chapel is gonna be. And uh, I suppose I could build more houses like that. Anyone moved in here? Yep, indeed. Population is growing, and I'm happy about that. Did you produce your first apples now? Still no apples, huh? I think it's about time for you to produce some apples. Yeah, the barns are definitely a lot less filled with the marketplace around I think and with this bridge the vendor just can go over here to the bar and come back he doesn't have to go all the way around that should help with that a little bit too um, however we probably I'm not sure how I want to lay this out but for now I'm gonna build like this yeah we're gonna have houses all around here probably later on. And uh, not sure what kind of building. I guess I could put another school in here. Huh. 19 suits. 72! Wow, when did that happen? All, all became a dull at once. Finally, we can up our production by quite a bit actually. Nice. Love it. I love it. People are actually working. Let's actually check the paths now. Yeah, they are coming from all over the place now. Those are alright. Wow, everything is going so well. Firewood full. Everything. I mean, we have a thousand firewood. I guess I can increase that a little bit. Our tools. Let's increase them now too. If we have the materials, so why not? 67% um, remaining. Should I build another house here? Complete the road, that's one. One, two, three, four. Is it three or four? It's four, and down here it's one, 
two, three, four. Yeah, eight houses. Awesome, perfect. And more laborers. Nice. Nice! All of a sudden, everything goes just beautifully. Did you produce your first apples now? Still not, huh? I, I, I was sure there are apples on here. But you don't seem to produce them yet. Maybe next year. Alright, uh, check our food production. Uh, uh. <laughs> we might need still a little bit more. Okay, filling up the, the stone, the quarry now. Nice, love it. Our stone production should be really good now. I guess it's as as good as it can be, so we should start building the chapel. Yep, I think it's time for that. Awesome. Uh, looks like we got a decent lead. Why is that not being harvested yet? Oh, I guess the guy who actually works in here comes from far away. Let's double check that. Oh no, he doesn't. Why isn't it harvested yet? That's weird. All the other fields are already harvested, but this one isn't. For some reason. Oh, yeah, now it's losing everything. That was really weird. I don't know why this wasn't harvested at all this time. Oh, the barns. Are the barns full again? Yeah, that might be it. Dang it. Alright, we need to build another barn. That's just it. Um, let's wait till... We don't have as many builders, so let's build them... Uh, let's let them build the chapel first, then we're gonna build another barn. I think that's the way to go. But how is our... Ooh, so far, so good. We had a bigger production last year. Um, and we used a little more than we had. Which is nothing I'd like to see. We'll see how it will play out. I mean, we are uh, in a pretty great growth phase right now. So, this might be an issue. More children are getting born every single day. Yeah, these barns are constantly full. I guess I could build a second one right here next to it. Oh, trader, trader, trader. Oh my god! Thank you, you finally listened to me. You're gonna get all the cabbage. Probably. I hope I won't uh, starve my population to death because of that. Uh, beans is what we need and we need peppers. Do I have the cherry seeds? I don't think I have the cherry seeds yet. Uh, let's trade this already. And uh, cherry and peach. We have peach, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we don't have the cherries. Alright, let's get the cherries too. Then we can afford it. Uh, cherry seeds. Let's give them um, potatoes. Maybe let's give them um, uh, 1500 potatoes, maybe. And 500 logs. Sounds like a deal. Awesome. You are dismissed and I should lower my cabbage count here once more. Since 5,000 cabbage out of our storage might be not a good thing. Let's let's make it four, maybe. Let's make it four. Alright! Two more in our collection. That's perfect. We are getting there. We are slowly but surely getting there. Awesome. Um... Alright, uh, do I want to open up another field? I probably should for the next summer. I think I should. Oh, the school is full! We need a second school, that's just it. There's no way around it now. Um, school, school, school. School, schoolhouse. Uh, where do we want to build it? Do we want to build it down here? Maybe right here. I mean, we have a lot of houses down here, and we are gonna expand in this way, this direction too. So I think it's not a bad idea. Um, go down, go up, and you are gonna plant peppers. Yes, peppers. Awesome. Um, why are you a question mark? I thought I just. 
got you another one. Oh yeah, now he's coming. Alright, and another laborer, perfect. So we're gonna need a second teacher here. Um, is, there, is there space for houses? There is! That's perfect. Nice. One, one, two, three, four. Two? I hope that they are fitting two in, it would be perfect. Perfect use of space. But yeah, I think um, next, next time we're gonna introduce our citizens to a nice chapel. But for that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. We are doing really, really well now. And I hope to see you all again in the next episode of Banish. I'll catch you all later.